Welcome people of the internet and thank you for watching my walkthrough video for my capstone project at University of New Hampshire's Full Stack Bootcamp. Welcome to vacation.com. I'll show you the website in a second, but I'd like to give you a little background first. In the course, we learn the MERN stack. So the primary technologies used are MongoDB, Express, React, and Node. The capstone project is usually worked on by a team of four to six students, but I decided to go with solo on this one. I did this to test my skills and see where I needed practice. Since I worked alone, I was responsible for everything from the front end, which is what you will see here, and the back end, which you cannot see but is what provides functionality. Before getting started on writing any code, I spent a lot of time looking at other websites to really get a feel for the things that I like and don't like about user interfaces. When I visit a website, I like a clean user interface where there's not too much going on, there's not too many buttons to click, and I don't get confused about what I should do next. I also don't like when the first thing the website asks you to do is log in or sign up. If this is my first time visiting the website, I may not know if I get any value out of it, and the first thing you want me to do is sign up? Come on. I have some more background to share later, but for now, let's jump into it. On vacation.com's landing page, you're welcome with the company name and logo, a tagline, and a simple, easy to read navigation bar. There's also this nice video playing in the background on a loop, which gets you in the mood for a vacation right away. The nav bar is designed to be simple and easy to read with only four options. We're already on the home page, so let's click about. Like you, I'm tired of sitting at home and I wanna go on vacation. But also like you, I'm lazy and don't wanna plan a vacation. I would rather something do the planning for me and just give me the plan so I can focus on the fun. My goal for this site was for users to be able to get a randomly generated vacation in under a minute. Some more background here. While I was researching user interfaces, I was putting in my personal email on a lot of websites. And I noticed after a little bit that I started to get a lot of emails from these websites and other websites that I know I've never visited. So I put this, what's the catch section here? And there really is no catch with my website. You can go, don't go, it's totally up to you. Once you receive the email, it can sit in your inbox for a year. Click it, don't click it, again, totally up to you. But if you do use it, you might just have the vacation in your lifetime. These images here in the About section are static images, meaning that these will be the same every time you load the page. But if we go down to Create a Trip, these images here are randomly generated every time you reload the page. Let's see that. To do that, I'm using the Unsplash API. If you've never used Unsplash, it's a great website where you can get professional quality photos of everything from cake to vacations. And in this case, we're filtering by just vacations. When you see an image that piques your vacation interest, you can click it to be emailed a random vacation. This looks like a lot of fun right here. When I clicked the image I liked, I hadn't put in my email address. So I get this warning here that says email required. Once I do put in an email address and I click the image that interests me, three things will happen. Firstly, an email package will be sent to the email address that I've entered. Second, that package will be emailed to the company so they know they've had a user engagement on the website. And third, that package and email address are going to be saved to the database for further use later. With further development, if that email address has been used in the past, when you click an image, another image will pop up with a description of a trip you've taken in the past. Say, you went to Morocco last year. The website will ask, did you enjoy it? Do you want to write a review? Maybe email to a friend, things of that nature. For now, the email and trip information is just saved to the database for future development. Through the magic of editing, you can see what happens when you do put in an email address. You get the success message here and down below the images. So when I go to my inbox, I will see a vacation package has been emailed to me. An important note here is that by the time you see this video, I may have deactivated the API keys that allow this functionality to work. So you may not get the email when you click one of the buttons. The APIs that I'm using are free and do limit the amount of calls I can make per hour and per day. So if you try to use this and it doesn't work, I suggest trying again later that day or maybe the next day. I'll also note that since these are free APIs, the amount of information I'm able to get is limited. With future development, I will build my own database of vacation options to send to users. The last thing I'd like to show you 
is the contact us page. This is fully functional and I love hearing from people about my projects, so feel free to reach out to me anytime. A couple things I wish I had done more of while planning the project are spending more time whiteboarding the project so I had a better flow through the entire work process and also spend more time looking for APIs. As I had mentioned, I wasn't able to find everything I wanted from the free APIs out there. And had I realized that on the front end, I probably would have made my database for this project, but I just didn't quite have the time by the time I realized it was gonna be a problem. I'd also like to thank my friends and family for all the feedback they provided. Since I worked on this project by myself, I really leaned heavily on them uh, with little tweaks and things I may not have noticed since I was staring at this so many hours every day. Like I said, I love hearing feedback on my projects. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Thanks. Thank you.